on that note, I think both the goalkeepers had a decent game. It was the battle of the two US goalkeepers, Bledsoe and Nair, in two goals. Chicago Red Stars and Washington Spirit drew their weekend fixture one all. There was late drama in this one as Trinity Rodman finally scores her first regular season NWSL goal, something we've been talking about. She's been a little questionable in the finishing department, but we, we saw that come at a crucial time tonight. Ramal, did you manage to catch the game and what were your takeaways? Yeah, I did catch the game. I think uh, there was, I would say, a uh, lot of, uh, I would say, tired players on both sides of the you know, game. And uh, that sort of, just team sort of put up like a great match for like a viewer who was catching this match out of nowhere. But if you sort of know these teams, then you know what they were trying. Um, I think we sort of finally got to see a spirit team that sort of uh, know what they are all about. And um, yeah, I think for them, um, they sort of showed like a whole bunch of these pieces that could now sort of go forward and make that impact. So yeah, I think uh, it was a good match for like uh, someone who knows the team, but for like a viewer coming into and just watching this match on a go, I think there were like a lot of tired legs around and uh, all in all, the overall pace of the game was uh, much slower than, we're, you know, especially like with the spirit, you know, we've seen them really like move the ball around and uh, that wasn't happening too often in this match. So I think, yeah, um, again, this comes down to, this is not like a patch of uh, either the teams, it's just, I think, uh, a big question on the league and you know, the schedule that they've been running. Um, and given how much you know teams travel during this, um, this whole schedule, and, uh, it's like any given flight would be like a four to six hour flight, which is massive for the players. Uh, they're also doing different time zones. So for them to actually, you know, go through this and come out and perform like they do big ups. So, yeah, I think um, my player, I would say, would have to be uh, Rod, uh, not just for the goal, but again, he was like just the best uh, all game. Uh, and, you know, we've been seeing that over the last few games that she's sort of been frustrated uh, because she's been doing a whole bunch of right things and for her to finally get that like, there was that release that you put that. So, yeah, that was the game for me. Yeah, I think you mentioned the, the travel scenario and it's not the same as England. Like a midweek fixture in England is a couple of hour bus ride. But this is taxing on the body and they have to take this kind of stuff into account before scheduling matches. Three matches in seven days across this wide country where they're flying. And I've heard um, stories of <clears throat> teams having to wait at airports. Like it's it's become a bit of a concern now more than just a question it's a little bit concerning as a fan i think uh, going forward we need to make sure that the, the scheduling is better and push for that as as much as we can as a fan i think uh, again we mentioned the the late drama in this one and it was drama because the first 80 odd were you know average and again that's that comes down to a lot of factors not a question of the skill of the players but just circumstances piling onto each other and Morgan Gutra, I think, who's having a wonderful 2021, was uh, again at the saving end for Chicago, where she scored a crucial penalty in 90 plus two um, due to a handball by Sam Stapp that was called in stoppage time. And the Trinity Rodman goal didn't count for three points at the end. It counted for just one. Um, I think it's, in a way, it's, what was meant to happen. Trinity Rodman, who's not been able to score consistently and, you know, could have won the game many times for a team and maybe didn't. This time when she kind of got on the score sheet, they said, you know, you'll have to wait for that game winner. Maybe finish uh, finish uh, polishing your finishing skills a little bit and then you'll get the game winner eventually. So um, on that note, I think both the goalkeepers had a decent game. It was the battle of the two US goalkeepers, Bledsoe and Nair, in two goals. Um, Mal Pugh was attacking from one end. We have Rodman, Sanchez from the other end. Both goalies were put into a, a good test for, for 90 minutes. You know, none of them were subbed out. And I think a nod to them as well. 
I would like to give uh, the player of the match to Rodman just for her first goal and uh, you know being the youngest in the league. It's it's quite a special achievement. I think uh, the goalies again just deserve a mention. So um, Neer and Bledsoe were were great in the matchup. But I, I, same as you, I'll give it to Rodman just uh, so we kind of push some positive energy towards her and get her a game winner uh, the next time Washington Spirit plays over the next weekend. But yeah, that was my takeaway from this game.